Oh. Welcome back to the Invincible. How far to that convoy? Oh, not far. Even if I make a few stops, it won't take long. Legs feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. Unfortunately, we lost, but I believe it's either impossible or really hard to win against the cook machine here. Yes, as you can see, as you could see, while I remained at the same pace, the computer sped up along with the ball, so cheater. seems to be slipping through my fingers like sand. So much sand. You're so tired, Jasna. <laughs> because I am tired, Astrogator. Destination. From now on, I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Seems like... The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful. Of radiation. Of other people. Just watch yourself. Considering the radioactive environment, I assume the probability of finding people here is close to zero. It might well indicate something quite the opposite. Human technology equals radiation, after all. 
One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh? So you've already reached the convoy? It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. Okay, we'll pick you a deer. I want to assure you that our expedition proceeds according to plan, without any more spectacular observations and discoveries. We predict a possible momentary stop for maintenance services. However, it shouldn't strongly influence the date of my return. Therefore, dear, be at ease and sure that I come back ready for my full presence in our joint life. However, I would like you to understand how much of a striking discovery this isotope was for us. How important for my academic career and my name, which I hope will become yours. It's the first particle in human history of space flights with unstable radioactive isotope discovered beyond the solar system. Discovered by me. Please, understand. Think about it. In 26 AAAF, the child of celestial bodies, a compound created as a result of two objects crashing into each other, are hidden all mysteries of stars' conjunction. Any day now, if I only spend a few nights on it, I will be able to determine its mass. Right now, I know that one of them was a red giant star. In my hands, there are answers to questions which stirred most brilliant minds for hundreds of years and made their owners strain their eyes to look through lunettes right at the CK Vulpeculae new in the little fox. In the sentence that I am more interested in, the star's conjunctions than connections between people, and in the expression of my opinion about the consequences of stars' co collisions being superior to anything that two protein-made entities can create, I only wanted to relay my absolute admiration for cosmic harmony and mathematical beauty of astrophysics, nothing more. Forgive me, your returning P. Another mobile antimatter cannon. Another? Is it active? Dead, fortunately. Uh, I admire your composure. <sighs> well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, someone's here. Oh no! Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. <clears throat> I didn't let that thought get to me. Didn't want to. Finding them was my priority. It could have been just another abandoned place. Not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. another hole. Great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. Okay, okay. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder.
coordinates match the location of the base we've searched. All of the Alliance's semi-autonomic machines can be remotely controlled, right? Yes. In that case, they were conducting an inspection before marching out. The antimatter's in an escort mode. The convoy is heading somewhere. I was there! It's the location with the giant cranes. Right before they lifted that strange artifact above ground level. They're getting close to where I am now. They're here. Sending a probe. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. Oh, they're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. How subtle. Can you locate the breach? I'm looking at it now. They've pierced a hole seven meters in diameter, and it's hard to say how deep. Is it the hole you mentioned? Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. We need to know what to expect there first. The transport's leaving. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from... Whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether you should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asta. Rightly so. I'd be scared out of my mind if not for our link. One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... darkness. Can't you see what he was aiming for? It's easy to protect the convoy. There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the 9,999 objects. The counter reached its limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Combine that with tremendous firepower and it means big trouble. Total panic. Everyone's trying to escape. Astrocator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate, instead of protecting. What happens next? There's also a second Antimat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Both were faulty. The second Antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them. One by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis 3 doesn't spare you. Who needs such destructive power? This technology puts us on a straight path to annihilation. Well, 
The Alliance will do anything to feel invincible, hence their flagship. It's not only them, Astrogator. If I remember correctly, we're not engaged in open conflict. And yet, we too participate in this ridiculous arms race. To the death and beyond. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It, it killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell, so it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational, and it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. So? I'll go check it out. I know you will, yes. Proceed. Rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio is breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's an octan coming at me. the cave. Yasna, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ah! Oh, I don't feel to. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. All right, then. Can you tell me what's in there? Like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. This place is full of metal bushes. Same as the ones before. Well. The lower parts of the bushes are fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Yeah, 
That's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock. But deep down, their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them, Yasta? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use the detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds similar. To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... Oh, grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule it out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells... Membranes, organs, or green bodies? Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, ma'am. Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. <laughs> 